konnichiwa, minasan. Part 2. Or, dai. Dai ni. <laughs> well, anyways, what I was telling about Xinyin was about how awesome it was. But this time I'm going to tell you that, well, these tickets that I got, for the for the show were actually free. Me and my mom got it for free because one of our clients in the daycare were able to spot his tickets. And I'm very thankful for him doing that. So that was a great thing. Uh, we take care of his kid, his uh, son, and uh, we're, it's a win-win situation. So, uh, but we really, I really do appreciate that he did that for us though. So, uh, uh, we were, uh, we would have been able to have gotten able to go to the back to meet everyone. But during that time after the show, they were in prayer. And we weren't allowed to go back there. Because, uh, guys, did you know that in China, people, Xin Yun, are considered uh, outcasts. They would be bullied very badly, get, even get death threats. Even on the show right now. Which is why I wasn't allowed to be be there. Even he wasn't. Even the guy who gave us tickets was not allowed to go back there because they had received death threats, warnings. Uh, they've even had sabotage to one of their show to some of their shows. So yeah, it's it's not easy. People, even though it is the most beautiful performance I've ever seen in my life, they have such a hardship going through all that. Because in in China, you're not allowed to meditate or anything like that if you do you will be killed it's been going on for the past decade it's 10 years guys so just if you ever get to see their show enjoy it while you can but while they are still doing it they have been doing this for about 10 13 10 10 years 17 years or something like that but that was that was a great that was a great performance. I'm so happy. And the orchestra seats that I got are right in here in the yellow archway, like right there, right behind the orange. But we, me and my mother sat right in here. Right in there. Let me circle it. We sat right in here. Right there, yeah. And we saw the whole show, which is right here. It was, it was amazing, I tell you, it was just, it's phenomenal, yeah, it was just, it's just, it's just great. you have no idea, you have to experience that, and, uh, a, a certain news channel was there interviewing people, we didn't, me and my mom didn't get interviewed because we're too awesome, yeah, uh, but, if you ever get a chance to see it, you can do it. They have, uh, if anybody sees this post and they live in Nashville right now, uh, February 22nd, 2014, then you will be able to see it here in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, tomorrow, uh, February 23rd, 2014. So, catch it, catch it, catch it! And here are the prices right here. Pause it if you want to see... One uh, thirty-two for the orange, one oh two for the yellow, seventy-two for the green, and fifty-two for the blue. But me and my mother got it free. Ish, well, free, free. But still, if you do get a chance to see the show, catch it. And please uh, understand that if uh, they don't want you back there, they already have like. Uh, on the world traveler people that come with them uh, throughout the entire time that they're performing that watch their booths, you know, their makeup counters, their trailers, and their food and everything. So they don't, so under, be understanding when they don't want any backstage tours back there with them. So, stop it, Hiroki. I'm going to get you. Come here. What is wrong with you? Hmm? What? Yeah. 
That's Hiroki, our producer. He's going rampant. I hope you guys heard him. But whatever. <laughs> Please enjoy it. Because not every, and they said even in there, not every show is like the last. I got, oh, and I even got a DVD. <sighs> okay. I had to go all the way back into my room, go all the way into my tiger backpack named Theo Raja Norman, and get this. It was a great thing. It's called Classical Chinese Dance Basic Skills Course. It's basically um, a training course that I could do, but they have all the dancing. And you open it. Ooh. Hey, John. Colors and uh. And here we go. Got to take that case. Slide it back out. Oh, look at that. Got all those dances in here. That is a lot, man. I have not opened it yet. <coughs> it's fresh. It's fresh plastic. Eh, don't scratch. Oh yeah, yeah. I always get stuck at this part right here. If anyone else gets stuck around here, you know that. Okay, I got it. Wow. Okay, woo, little, yeah. Okay. Ooh, look how shiny it is. I can see myself. Not really. No, I can't. Anyways, this. Here we go. Time to open it. Crap. Okay, it fell on its back. It fell on its back. It's fine. It's fine. Let me fix it. see the color in oh, oh yeah. and there we have dance department of Fei uh, Tian College this is men's class and this is women's class so, so on the DVDs I ain't nine. and even on the back this is the men's and this is the women's class so, and even down here it says United States so oh and the guys Shen Yun, all these people, because China hates them so much, they can't even perform it in their own country because they will get killed, possibly. Uh, this Shen Yun originated in New York, New York City. First, they were uh, uh, dancing for nonprofit, and then they started to get better and better, and more and more people started to come uh, to their uh, performances, and then they. It came awesome, er, you know, but it, it, I can't even explain. You cannot bring outside food, outside drink. You can only buy stuff, and this is like the movie theater. No pictures, no cell phones, all that stuff, pagers, if anyone still knows or has pagers or if they still exist. I doubt that pagers still exist, still exist in this day and age. If they do, a child will be like, Mommy, what's that? And, uh, Kore, uh, uh, no. Look, ice cream! Yeah, be all that. And junk. But, anyways, uh, once again, I will say, I highly recommend you go and watch Shin Yun Performing Arts. Kakui desu yo. Oh God. Yay!